Can't, cannot give that one to it you. It says, how do you stay meek and humble when you receive many compliments from others? What's a proper response, especially when the person is doing it in a genuine way? Well, uh, when I read the Excellent Wife book, I, this when I started getting invited to come places, and I went to John MacArthur's church, and I was scared to death, but I did a conference, and then a lot of ladies had begun to read the Excellent Wife book, and they came up and thanked me for it. Well, my friend Mary Beth was with me. She had flown from Atlanta to L.A. to be with me, and so... I was very uncomfortable with that. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. And so um, on the way home, on the plane, I told Mary Beth, I, I said, I'm not going to do any more conferences. And she said, why not? Hmm. And I said, because I just want it to be about the Lord. I don't want it to be about me. And she said, well... If, some, if you had read a book by a Christian author and the Lord had used that to help you, wouldn't you want to thank the author? And I said, well, yes. And she said, so get over it. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't get over it. I still struggled with it. And I just remember thinking about it and praying and then... Just telling the Lord, when somebody says thank you for one of your books or something, and I'm just going to say, you're welcome. I'm not going to go in a 20-minute <laughs> talk when they say thank you. But Lord, this is a sacrifice of praise to you. And so anyway, I did get over myself. So, and I mean, it was just my pride, and I wasn't, I didn't know what, I didn't, I was, I didn't know what to do, so...